Hello and welcome to the sixth episode in our series on bipolar disorder. In the previous episodes, we dealt with the introduction, classification, symptoms, diagnosis, causes and treatment of bipolar disorder. In this episode, we will focus on prevention and lifestyle modification for patients with bipolar disorder. Come, let us meet our expert. The lifestyle modifications for patients with bipolar disorder is the same as the lifestyle modifications for any non-communicable disease like diabetes or hypertension. So that will include modifications in the diet, in the sleeping habits, the eating habits, the need for physical activity. So these are equally important in patients with bipolar disorder. In addition, what patients with bipolar disorder need to do is to have a regularity or rhythmicity of their day-to-day -day activities eat on time, sleep on time, take your medications on time, do your physical activity as much as possible. So these are some of the things that all patients with bipolar disorder need to do. Rhythmicity is very important lifestyle modification for patients with bipolar disorder. So relapse prevention is one of the most important treatment goals in bipolar disorder. So the main thing with relapse prevention is to ensure that the patient is on regular treatment and take the medication at the dose that it is been prescribed by the psychiatrist at the time that they are supposed to take and for the period that it has been advised. Not taking the medication as per the prescribed dose or duration can result in relapse. Skipping medications frequently can result in relapse. So it's important that the patient takes the medications regularly. The family members supervise the treatment regularly, ensure that the patient comes for follow-up to the treating psychiatrist as often as prescribed. So these are important ways in which relapse can be prevented. So it's very important for both patients and family members to understand how relapse and bipolar disorder can be prevented. So the first step for that would be to have a good understanding about the illness, the nature of the illness and the course of illness. The next thing that they need to know is what are the treatments that are available which should be taken regularly and try and take the medications as regularly as prescribed. So that's the most important thing in terms of preventing relapse. It's also important for patients and family members to know what are the warning signs of a mood episode. So that as soon as the initial warning signs appear, they should immediately consult the treating uh, psychiatrist to ensure that the relapse can be aborted or prevented. So th these are the two important things that they need to do. In addition, engaging in healthy lifestyle behavior like eating on time, ensuring that the sleep hygiene is maintained, patients get adequate rest, they do not get stressed too much, have good work-life balance, avoid substances of abuse like alcohol or nicotine. So these are some of the things that patients can do to ensure that they remain relapse free. So for the family members, it's important to ensure that they are more encouraging rather than critical, more supportive to the patient, help them understand that what is the course of treatment that is uh, needed, ensuring that they keep their follow-up appointments regularly, make sure that the lifestyle modifications that have been suggested are done properly. And these are some of the things that the patients and family members can do to prevent relapse. Family members play a very important role in relapse prevention and bipolar disorder. It is important that family members have a good understanding of the patient's illness. Talk to the doctor, find out what needs to be done. In addition, they should try to be as supportive and encouraging as possible to the patient. Ensure that the patient takes the medications as prescribed. Make sure that the patients follow the lifestyle modifications that the doctor has advised and bring them for follow-up as regularly as advised. So these are some of the things that the family members can do to ensure that the patient stays relapse free and can lead a productive life. This concludes the sixth episode in our series on bipolar disorder. 
In this episode, we understood about the lifestyle modifications required for patients with bipolar disorder and what a patient and the family members can do to prevent an episode and also during a relapse. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.